Hi, welcome to the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's industrial stormwater video on identifying and confirming a benchmark monitoring location. Hopefully, after today's video, you'll be more easily able to identify and confirm a benchmark monitoring location at your facility, which meets the requirements of the industrial stormwater general permit. Even before going out and identifying the monitoring location, there's a couple of points that you want to be aware of and being prepared to identify that location more easily. Those include identifying the industrial activities and significant materials at your facility, such as for this facility, it's storing paint cans outside would be considered the industrial activity and a significant material. And secondly, you want to identify the best management practices which are treating the discharges from those activities. Thirdly, you want to assess the site for the topography and the site characteristics such as is it an impervious surface or not, the slope of the hill, and where the activities are in relation to one another. The two most important points that you want to be aware of are uh, the definition of what the benchmark monitoring location is, which you can find in Appendix E of the Multi-Sector General Permit, and above all, safety. You want to find a location where you'll be able to collect samples safely because your safety is most important. So let's go around this facility and identify some other industrial activities and significant materials. What you'll see over here is paint cans that are stored outside. Over here is dumpsters with significant material inside. Over here you'll see storage of various materials and storage containers. And so we want to be aware of all the industrial activities. Now that we've identified all of the industrial activities and significant materials at this facility, let's look at the second point, which are BMPs. BMPs are used to manage the stormwater discharges coming from the industrial activities. They can include structural and non-structural BMPs. Examples of structural BMPs include secondary containment or covers such as the one behind me covering significant materials. Non-structural BMPs include things like sweeping and good general housekeeping around the facility. So now that we've assessed the industrial activities and significant materials at this facility, we've looked at the best management practices which are managing the stormwater discharges for those facilities, the third point we want to talk about is site characteristics. So where that stormwater is going to go once it hits the facility and what's the end point. A way to help yourself determine the flow of stormwater the facility is doing it during a discharge event. And if it's not raining during a day, you can actually simulate flow. Things that are going to influence the flow of stormwater discharges include whether it's a pervious versus impervious surface and the slope of the land. Being aware of these will help you find the best point for benchmark monitoring. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of determining your industrial activity, figuring out what your BMPs are, and knowing the site characteristics, there's another couple things that we need to think about. Like, what if my facility has two industrial activities? Do I need to have a monitoring location at each one of these activities? And the answer is yes. For each one of the different activities, BMPs and site characteristics, you will need to have a benchmark monitoring location. So let's take a look at this facility and see uh, the examples of different activities, BMPs and site characteristics, and where those actual benchmark monitoring locations would be for this facility. So for this facility, we have two different industrial activities. A recycling center, as you can see by all the recyclable materials packed here, and the dumpsters with various materials, and a transportation facility, where they're loading and unloading materials, and that's the business. Next, we have BMPs for each of these activities. The BMPs for the recycling facility include things like sorting inside different types of materials, dumpsters that are in good condition and plugged, and proper sorting and good housekeeping of the materials that are stored outside. For the transportation, the activities are completely covered within the truck bed 
and it's a direct connection to the dock so that there's no exposure. In terms of site characteristics, there might not be much of a difference here. It is impervious surface for the whole facility and the slope of the land is about the same. So our benchmark monitoring locations will be here for the recycling facility and here for the transportation facility. So far we've considered industrial activities and significant materials, best management practices which are used to manage stormwater, and site characteristics in considering a benchmark monitoring location. We also, from our last facility, talked about having two monitoring locations for each of the industrial activities that are different at a facility. But what if we're at a facility that has just one industrial activity, which also has similar BMPs treating them and similar site characteristics? At this facility, we only have one industrial activity, which is an auto salvage yard or auto dismantling. The BMPs are similar in that they're a vegetative swale. Uh, class 5 gravel which slows down the flow of water and good housekeeping which includes draining of fluids of the equipment inside and making sure that there's no leaks and drips. In this case the facility may use only one benchmark monitoring location to represent the facility provided that the industrial activities are similar, the BMPs are similar, the site characteristics are similar and the, the character of the discharges and the endpoint of the discharges is similar. In these situations, they can just use that one location, which will make it easier to capture a sample which is representative at a facility. Today we've talked about in identifying a benchmark monitoring locations uh, that we need to identify industrial activities, we need to identify the best management practices which are used to manage those stormwater discharges, and consider site characteristics when finding the best benchmark monitoring location at a facility. We've also talked about having multiple industrial activities and the need to have a location at each of those activities. We've also talked about if the activities are similar. Now, however, if you still are unsure about identifying a benchmark monitoring location, we do have additional materials available on the Industrial Stormwater website, which include monitoring diagrams, which will hopefully help you identify those monitoring locations just a little bit more. And with that, I'd like to thank you for viewing the MPCA's video on selecting and confirming a benchmark monitoring location.